This is so lame. Mm -hmm. All right, Donkey, listen to me. Arte is going to be on his way back soon. I want you to go into this cave and pretend to be a dragon. A what? Artie wanted to fight a dragon for his quest. What is the deal with everybody wanting to fight dragons? They are much more cuddly than they look, you know. Look, Donkey, it's simple. If Artie thinks he fought a dragon, he'll feel more heroic, like a king, not a kid. Then he'll actually want to come back with us. All right, fine. Great! Now put this costume on. I can't believe I'm doing this. How am I ever going to tell this story back at home without getting fried to a crib? Pretend I'm a drag. I bet that cat came up with this. He's probably watching me right now and laughing. There's already a dragon in here. Is that you, Shrek? Hey, where'd you get that cheap costume? Oh. Oh! oh. Ah! Shrek? Donkey? What a lame quest. Throw a coin in the well. Stupid lady of the lake. Shrek? Hello? Help me, Artie! It's gonna eat me!
<laughs> Man, you were great! Swinging your sword, waving your shield, left, right, left, right, duck and weave, duck and weave! I love you, Artie, you're the man! Thanks. Hey, uh, why are you wearing a dragon costume? Having bravely completed his quest and won his diploma... You did good, lad. Arthur was eager to return with Shrek to far, far away. Okay, let's go. Meanwhile, deep in the catacombs beneath the royal castle, Sleeping Beauty searched frantically for her imprisoned friends. <coughs> As I was saying, Sleeping Beauty searched frantically... <coughs> Searched frantically. Searched frantically because her friends' very lives depended upon her. You don't have to be so rude. Oh, forget it. 